What's going on, everybody? Eddie Soundhead back once again with Soundhead Entertainment, and we are back in Wreckfest once again here today for what will hopefully be the epic conclusion to the Lingus Trials, as we've got a nice little Friday finale planned here for Part 4. Still got the Jimmy Johnson Ally car. Hopefully that'll give us a little bit of luck, even though it really hasn't yet. And let's go ahead and finish this fight. Just gonna bully my way down to the inside as fast as I can. Excuse me, Haley Deegan. Don't mind me as I pack my way through Ryan Blaney right from the get-go, and then I get a return pack from Haley Deegan out the back end. And now everybody's crashing across the track. We're sending guys up on their side. Jimmy Spencer up on two wheels. Cars get knocked everywhere. 22 going clean across the racetrack, catching some air. Lucky not to get T-boned right there. Now we got Jerry Nadeau and I in a drag race down to Corpse Corner, and Eric Umrol is gonna send it up my inside. And he has converted me into a corpse and has entirely taken us out. Pack Brandon Jones right into the first corner. No biggie, send him over there. Somebody's gone invisible on us already, but I can't really tell who oh, I said Ellie Deegan up on two wheels, and then I got pile driven in return. Me and Ryan Blaney just can't stay away from each other in the beginning of these things, I guess. And now I've got to do even more of this racetrack in reverse. A little, nice little tap, a little mini pack from Alex LeBay there. Not bad. Look at all these cars still trying to gather it up here. And Carl Edwards pulling it right out in front of a couple others. Very, I gotta stay away from Eric Alroll. Don't send it on me. And then I said I sent it on myself way too deep into the corner and i'm gonna get squeezed by carl edwards who are you people Haley digging watch out buried her in the wall not what i was trying to do right there wasn't looking to destroy the future of nascar but alas we have oh we got a couple of bums losing our own 19 going around here got eric almarola up here losing it gather it up buddy oh you hate to see it i guess it's a little payback what we saw earlier you hate to see it but you don't hate to see us in the top five, which we have accomplished. And I think I just ran into an invisible car, but I don't know for sure, to be totally honest with you. I do not have the answers, folks. I wish I did, but I simply do not. Oh, man. Oh, I might have sent that one in a tad hard and buried it in the wall. I lost a couple more spots I didn't need to lose. Big speed over here. Oh, Alex LeBay going backwards down the long straight why the world may never know. Alex, what are you doing? Get out of here. Greg Biffles won the race. Well, there you go. At least something good happened today. Excuse me. Pardon me. Squeezing my way through here, and we are indeed somehow going to limp this thing back around with two health points and finish in sixth. A miracle. Excuse me. Excuse me, Noah Braxton and everybody else and whoever that invisible gentleman is up there. We just maybe get out of the way. I'm just going to shove everybody out of the way, and this has worked out maybe worse than any plan has ever worked out for us in the past but you know what we flipped it back over on all wheels we're still getting beaten off the track if you could please get out of my way nope we're gonna go for a barrel roll but not quite the 28 is gonna take the beating for me way to go buddy here i'm just gonna knock you out of the way real fast don't mind me if we can just keep it moving in the right direction that would be grand reed Sorensen, get out of my face we ain't got time for you out here today See if we can make this corner. Oh, Landon Castle, you piece of human garbage. How dare you? Excuse me, Michael. Self or not, we can just make a little more unnecessary contact, and that's going to plant me right back in the ball. Man, this, this track layout is just beating me down right now. Oh, and then I just get half from behind. Was that Eric Almarola? Rolling me over again. I'm going to get him again. Oh, Haley Deegan losing it at the finish line. But come on, I got to get back to Eric Almarola. We got a rivalry brewing here. Oh, you have picked a fantastic place to park your vehicle, sir. Well done. There's Eric Almarola losing it. So I don't even have to deal with him. Man, these might be some of the greatest racers of all time. And what in the act? Grand Infinger also going into the realm of invisibility. One day we're going to learn how to get these guys to stop. But that day is not today. That is for certain. I mean, look at this. I, I can't even make the final corner without getting a tire check and nearly ending my life and then getting my life ended by Haley Deegan, which is exactly how I planned for it all to happen. Now the diabolical scheme this time around is to let everybody have a little bit of breathing room on the way in, but then just roast them on the way through in the Crisco car, going for a big old barrel roll right there. You hate to see it. Oh man, we got him still wrecking over here in this corner. Come on, boys. We can make it through. Oh, not when I got one right on my rear end, pushing me through, and I just send Jimmy Spencer, I think, head first directly into that wall. That could have been potentially brutal. Not sure I made out of that one, but he appears to keep it rolling, so that's good for him. Here we got a little gaggle of cars. We got Kale Yarbrough, and I was so fixated 
on Kale. My old nemesis that I absolutely removed Jimmy Spencer from any chance of making that corner. But you know what? That'll happen sometimes. And now I've got Landon Castle here, who we've had a couple of run-ins with, and I think we're about to have a final run-in with as we take him out of the race. Man, we are putting bumpers to butts today. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, yeah. That is what I was scared of. And, of course, it's Kelly Yarbrough sitting in my way. Watch out. The Packery from Brandon Jones. Come on. We can do it. How many times do I have to turn around in this section? There we go. All right. Danger zone. Come on. This is a drag race to the finish between me and Brandon Jones for the top five. And instead, I die. Should have seen it coming. Just gonna push you then, Brandon Jones, since we're gonna have a problem. We'll just go ahead and solve the problem right now. I'll send you in the first corner. I'll send you right here as well. We'll just go ahead and settle it. And uh, yeah, we settled it all right. We uh, we settled it by discarding of me, like common trash, and then Benny Parsons with a cheeky little reverse into me almost knocks me over. I just hooked Jimmy Spencer into 22 right there. You hate to see that. But you uh, got all kinds of morons wrecking in front of us right here. And then we just atomic ass back Michael Self into a front flip. That was one of the most vicious ass packs that we've seen in some time. There's a little tire check. I'm going to pack it into Jimmy Spencer to use him as my break. And that has worked out worse than anything I've ever seen in my life. And then he's going to get piled into from behind. And I can't even make the corner over here. Wow. Wow. Oh, we got a carnage over here in the final corner, getting clipped by a mostly invisible William Byron. That's my life right now. Oh, boys. We're getting close here. This is going to be too little too late, though. By the looks of it, Ryan Priest is outrunning me into the final corner, unless he gets hung up right here, and he kind of does floor it. Oh, he's going to spin it before the line, and we are going to steal it out from underneath him. Ryan Priest has to be sick. And I don't even know where he finished. He finished 14th. Oh, he died at the finish line. Now that's tragic, ladies and gentlemen. It doesn't get you much more tragic than that, but what a way to steal the win and conquer. Ling is slow. You know what that means, ladies and gentlemen. That means we have one layout left to conquer. Why wait any longer? Let's go ahead and jump into that thing right now. All right, here we are. Lingus slow reverse. The final showdown. Got David Pearson in the 28. This time around, he's not being any less vicious than the previous occupants of that car, man. Giving us more to remember him by. And there, there goes the 22 flying in the first corner again. That's becoming a bit of a signature. We've seen that a couple of times here over the last couple of videos. Guys, sneak through the danger zone here without getting clapped. Oh, I'm going to dump, dump the 52 there. And can we make it through here? I'm going to get sent to a barrel roll. Come on, boys. We got to get through here. Oh, and I'm going to get cleaned out by the 22 and everybody else to my death. And now we're just going to come hang out with the fans. David Pearson still leaning it right into me on the start, but we're going to get through it a lot cleaner that time. 97 is going to turn it in on me. That's cool. 22 dying again. Oh, and me and my buddy Mark Martin going to the fence. Classic. Bobby Isaac clipping him in there. Bobby, watch out, buddy. All right, you go that way. I'll go this way. It's all good. Watch out, everybody. Clear lane here. Don't mind us. Greg Biffle is entirely invisible and entirely in my way. If you could get out of it, I'd really appreciate it. Oh, look out. Ron Bouchard lining up the perfect ass pack on himself and then runs one into Derek Cope and we're going for a spin. Come on, gather it up here. We ain't got time to mess around. Ron Bouchard going invisible inside of me and I've just nailed the Crisco car. For absolutely no reason whatsoever. That 12 card just got blasted. This is getting nuts. Come here, Ronnie. Get you out of my way, buddy. Oh, he's going wide. He's going over the top. Can he make it through? No, he cannot. Brought to a dead stop by the tires. And that, my friends, is how you make a pass for the lead. Oh, man. It's been a wide entry. All right. We're just going to go up around. No biggie. Come on. Oh, okay. No, this is a slight issue. Come on. I am stuck. I am stuck. And then the 52 completely choked the beautiful chance that I just handed to him. And then I have choked the chance that he gave right back to me. So now this is becoming a problem. And this is actually becoming a race between me and the 52. This is a problem. I've dumped him again and I put myself on the wall. And I think I just lost the wheel. And I'm going to get packed 
and I have. I've lost the wheel. I have lost the wheel, and those boys are gone. This race is over. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. And there's Mark. Martin add a little insult to injury that I definitely needed. One of you boys want to finish me off? Come on, do the deed. You won't. It was AJ Foyt. Came through and put me out of my misery. You know what? That's probably the best case scenario we had going for us. David Pearson doing it again. Somebody literally driving underneath the one off the start line. I don't have an explanation for you, ladies and gentlemen, but we are inside the top 10. Alex LeBay getting himself turned across my nose. Squeak through the gap right here into the danger zone. And we are making our way through the field here. Now watch it through the danger zone because cars are going to pile it up right here. Cross back onto the track. Just barely miss out on collecting that 21 car behind us. And we are going to get through here. Oh, uh, just going to lose our podium spot. I'll get it back though here on Greg if I can. I'll cross you over all day, son, or spin us both out. And get myself T-Bone and you T-Bone. Oh, I gotta pull across the racing lane here. This is dangerous. And the 22 just misses us. But luckily we're able to continue. The 36 just gets dumped and put it to the wall and I am going to shove this 19 into the corner. It's gonna put both of those boys wide. Old Bobble Hamilton in the 22. Knocks into the wall back there. We just caused a quite a hit and the 88's going way off track. And I'm getting sucked into the wall. What the hell kind of guardrail technology is that? I'd love to know. I'm not going to get an explanation either. And now we've got a pile up up here. I can't even take the corner wide. I've crashed into a fence. Oh, and I am being piled into. Now this is gone. Extremely well. This is grand. 19 of you get off of me. That'd be beautiful. Really would be a beautiful thing. Oh, look at that pile up back there. That's a bit of a beautiful thing in its own right. Ricky Stenhouse. Am I going to have to send it in on old Ricky? And I'm gonna clear, oh, I'm gonna get over these tractor tires somehow. Barely. And then absolute revenge by Stenhouse and I cannot blame him one bit. Oh, and I sent it in on him in the corner and I miss like a scrub and Richard Petty's gonna make me pay for it. This is getting brutal right here. Richard, get out of my way. I got places to be, buddy. Oh man, we got cars everywhere and I got two health. I cannot afford to be running into you scrubs like this. Please let me get out of here, game. Thank you. All right, we can at least get a finish out of this thing if we're mindful of Richard Petty, which he's not being very mindful of us, so we'll go ahead and take him out of this deal. We're going to limp it home, boys. All right, well, another sixth place finish. Just what I needed. Yeah, I'm done playing nice with these guys, in case you can't tell, and uh, they're done playing nice with me because they just housed my ass. They just put me right to the back. And you know what? I got to respect it. I would have done similar. I just kind of hooked Joey Gates there. He's going on a real expedition out there, and he did not make it back on track. And we... Oh, man. I'm going to have to go wide again up by the fence. We're good. Gathering back up. The Packery in front of us as we just send Mario Andretti into the spin cycle. 22's in a bad spot right there, and we got Ricky Stenhouse Jr. up here. We're going to hit him with the pack into a huge wheelie. Not gonna get it back on track. Excuse me, boys. Get out of my race if you would, please. Oh my goodness, I'm still piling in. And that was Stenhouse coming back as I just blasted 28. I tell you what, me and Stenhouse, we've got a rivalry developing again. And also, Terrio's gonna drive straight through me. All right. Everybody wanna drive straight through me? Okay, apparently they do. Apparently they really do. They just unequivocally removed me from life. Oh, watch out for that wall, boys. It will get you every time. Ten's going over for a barrel roll. We've got ourselves another hot star. Junior Johnson getting hooked. And now we fly into the danger zone, and it's quite dangerous. We're going to sneak by on the inside and nail the seven on the way through. Landing on a couple of cars, but continuing on launching the Burger King car. He's going to stick the landing beautifully. Tire check for the eight. Oh, the car's laying right in my racing lane, right where I need to be, right where I don't need them to be. And now I've got Mario Andretti here, who's destined to make this a lot more complicated than it needs to be and he sure has the 52 is going to nail me but you know what that's okay I'm using you to turn around and that's just going to be that tell you what though we're going to be fighting our way underneath Mario Andretti to the lead here with a pretty destroyed race car we are in the lead boys oh man this has got to become the danger zone right here and this is why as I launched the 85 again this has become an irregular graveyard over here. The danger zone just keeps getting longer and longer, and somehow we're still in the lead and pulling away. 
from Mario Andretti. So this very well could be it as we head down the long straight for the final time, hopefully. As long as Richard Petty up here doesn't cause us any problems as we are got, we have four health, ladies and gentlemen, and one more corner to negotiate. We are gonna do it. The Lingus trials have concluded and been conquered. Four parts, six track layouts, and we destroyed them all. And we're destroyed many times in the process, which is usually what we're after, let's be honest. So, we finally did it. It's done. The deed is done. We can move on with our lives now. So thank you everybody for watching. I hope you enjoyed that episode. If you did, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe as always, because that kind of stuff helps me out a ton and it keeps the episodes rolling. So with that, I will see you in the next one. Peace!